We are learning more tonight about a dismembered body found in the Ninth Ward. WGNO's Anna McAllister reports on the court documents mentioning drugs, a freezer, and more. Wow, wow is the reaction. If you drive along the 2200 block of Pauline Street in the Ninth Ward, you'll spot a home with unique decor and renovated school buses outside. Little did the people in this neighborhood know what was inside one of those buses. Well, they told me um, the lady was chopped up in a bus. Tuesday, the New Orleans Police Department obtained a search warrant following a missing persons report. The ex-husband of 36-year-old Julia Darter reported her missing at the end of December. He told police daughter was living with 34-year-old Benjamin Beal. I, I seen her come and go, and we see her walking a dog too. Police say when they questioned Beal, he said he hadn't seen daughter in weeks. Beal told police daughter was struggling with addiction and that he thought she left and committed suicide. But when police searched Beal's property, they found the torso of a woman stuffed inside of a freezer in one of those buses. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. Like it really. When they said it hit home, it hit close, it's next door, you know. According to court documents, investigators also found a saw that appeared to have pieces of flesh on it. Inside of Beale's home, police made another disturbing discovery. A meth lab and the ID and credit cards belonging to Darter. Neighbors are at a loss for words at what seems to be a house of horrors on their street. This part of the neighborhood is quiet. Like I said, that's why we're like really shocked that something happened, you know, in, especially in this block. Everybody knows everybody, just like we knew, well, we thought we knew, you know, him. Lawton says she often had friendly conversations with Beal, who presented himself as a creative person. He's an artist, as you can see from looking at the house. So, I mean, that's what he claimed himself to be. We never thought, you know, it was any wrongdoing or anything like that. But behind the so-called art was a gruesome secret that left a neighborhood wondering how this could happen. Right now, the identity of the dismembered woman and the cause of death is unknown. Beal is facing several charges, including obstruction of justice. He's being held in the Orleans Parish Jail on $400,000 bond. Kurt. Anna McAllister reporting for us. Thank you, Anna.